Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. You're watching the Ed Tech, and in this tutorial, we're gonna make tic tac toe game with the help of C programming. This is gonna be a two player game. We will assign X to the player one and O to the player two. So, let me first show you the final result and then we will understand the logic behind it. So this is our tic-tac-toe board. First we're gonna make the board and then we're gonna initialize each box with the number 1 to 9. And then we will replace these numbers with the X or O as per the requirement of the user or what the number user will enter. So let's suppose uh, the player 1 enters 5. So what the compiler do, the compiler will check the 5th block that the 5th block is empty or not. For the empty means that there are gonna be no symbol neither x and nor o so it's gonna check that the fifth block is empty or not and if it's empty then it's gonna replace the value 5 with the symbol x because as we already discussed that uh, we assigned the x to the player 1 so it's gonna replace the value 5 to the symbol x and if it's not empty then it's gonna ask the user to enter his choice again so it's going to replace the value 5 with x. So by now you must have understood the working of the code. Now let's start writing this code. Okay, so first of all we're going to declare an array of character type of 10 characters. And we're going to store our numbers in it. So I'm gonna explain it later why I put the O in the first index of our array. So let's head to our main function. We're gonna start with main function. So let's declare some variable and first variable is gonna be player and we're gonna initialize it by one. Second index, second variable is gonna be choice and the third one is I and we are going to declare another variable of character type which is called mark and it is going to store our symbols like x or o now let's print the tic tac toe board and for this we are going to make another function called show board so let's uh, declare it first gonna be a void type and so first we're gonna print the heading which is tic tac toe And then we want uh, uh, this straight line and for this straight line we're gonna print these two lines and then for the horizontal line we're gonna print this line now in between these lines we're gonna print our numbers so for that we're gonna print a similar line like this and then in between these lines we're gonna print our numbers So this is our tic-tac-toe board function, first we print the uh, vertical line then we print the horizontal line and in between these boxes, in between these blocks we, uh, we printed our numbers so that user can access this place uh, with the help of numbers. So let's run this code and it's working perfect. 
now let's back to our main function so first of all i'm gonna start a do while loop i'm gonna run it until i equals to minus one i'm gonna explain it later so now let's decide which player gonna play first so for that we're gonna use a conditional operator I think you can understand this expression if the value in the player variable is not divisible by 2 then it's gonna assign the 1 to the player variable now let's ask the user to enter his choice Now we're gonna decide the symbol as we discussed earlier we're gonna assign x to the player 1 and o to the player 2 so mark equals 2 and we're gonna use a conditional operator player equals to equals to 1 Now we're gonna check if the block is empty or not in which the user wanna insert is symbol. So for this we're gonna use if statement and choice equal to equal to one. I think you can understand this if the player enters one then it's gonna check if the first block is empty or not if it's empty then it's gonna assign the mark to the first index of the array and then it's gonna print our whole tic-tac-toe board again so we have to do this for every block so let's do it for the second block Now if the user will enter other than these numbers then it gonna print invalid value and we're gonna decrement the player by 1 now we're gonna check which player has won or the game is draw or not so for that we're gonna make another function called check for win check for win and then we're gonna increment the value of the player by one so let me explain this increment or decrement that suppose The player 1 has uh, entered uh, like a whole other value like 10 then it's gonna then it's gonna run the else part and in the else part in gonna it's gonna decrement uh, the value of the player by 1 that means it's gonna be 0 and then it's gonna run that uh, increment part that means it's gonna increment that 0 by 1 
that means again there is a one in the player one and that what we want uh, because if the player one entered the invalid value we want the player to enter his choice again okay so let's suppose if we didn't put uh, uh, this decrement here what will it going to do uh, it going to increment the value of the player again and again no matter what the player has entered uh, like if the player has entered 10 then it going to run the else part and after that it going to run the increment part and the player and the value in the player become 2 and that's not what we want we want that the player will enter his choice again if he entered an invalid choice so for that we have to put this decrement here now let's make our check for win function and it's going to generate three values minus 1 0 and 1 So let's declare it. Sorry, it's going to be of int type. So let's write all the win cases. So what the first win case is? The first win case is that the index 1 is equal to index 2 and the index 2 is equal to index 3. So let's write this in, the, in our code. So we're going to use if else and if it's true then we're going to return 1. Now we have to check this for every row uh, like 1, 2, 3 and then 4 equals to 5, 5 equals to 6 and then 7 equals to 8, 8 equals to 9. So let's write this for every row. Now let's write this for the column like uh, index 1 is equal to index 4 and the index 4 is equal to index 7 and then second equals to 5 and 5 equals to 8 and then third equals to 6 and 6 equal to 9. So let's write it in the code. Now we have to write it for the diagonals like 1 equals to 5 and 5 equals to 9 and 3 equals to 5 and 5 equals to 9. Okay, so these are our win cases. I'm gonna just comment it here so that you can understand it better. Now, what if the game is draw? That means all the blocks are filled. So let's write these cases also. Else if ARR1 is not equals to 1. That means it's, it's already filled by any symbol. And ARR2 is not equals to 2 we have to write it for every block 
so let's write for 3 is not equals to 3 So if the game is draw, then we're going to return 0. And as we're going to return minus 1, that means the game is still on. So that's our check for win function. Now let's back to our main function. In this, we're gonna use if statement and we're gonna check if the value of i is one or not. If it's true, then we're gonna print. And else, the game is draw. And here we're going to print our code again. And after this statement, we're going to hold our screen. Okay, so we forgot to add one header file which is conio.h. The getch function which we have just used is defined in this header file. So if you want to use getch function, you should add this header file also. So this is our code of tic-tac-toe game. Now let's try to run this code. So that's all for today guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. This video is the part of our C project playlist. So if you haven't checked my other project, go ahead and check these also. And subscribe to our channel to see more videos from us. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.